everybody, and today I'm actually going to be showing you of how blah blah of how today I'm actually going to be showing you how to make your own bare minerals mineral veil so here within the United States now I don't know about anywhere else but here it's been kind of I don't know figured out that the bare minerals mineral veil is one of the better translucent powders than some of the drugstore powders essentially for me I can't really tell a difference but a lot of people have been able to so um, this stuff is actually pretty expensive for my taste now the only reason I have this one is because I got a bare minerals like mystery thing in the mail like I bought one when I was really into wearing bare minerals and then my skin kind of changed and it just didn't work with my skin very well um, so I actually got a full size bare minerals powder now this size which is the 0.3 ounces of the mineral veil cost $22 at Sephora brand new um, which to me $22 can seem like a lot for something that um I tend to use a lot and I use this very fast so I went on the interwebs of course and I went digging and I found a couple recipes on how to make your own bare minerals mineral veil and I just thought I would share them with you and then we're going to be doing a comparison on each side of my face that's why I am bare faced today um, we're going to be doing a comparison against the bare minerals and then the one the DIY that we have so let's just jump on in so for this DIY you're only actually going to need a couple things you're going to need a container to mix in I am just using one of these cheapy Tupperware containers you're gonna need something to start up with I am using a four of course a whisk can work as well you're going to need baby powder and you're also going to need cornstarch and then you're going to need a way to measure these out of course with either uh, measuring spoons or a scale that you can weigh in grams all right so the first thing you're going to do obviously is get all your stuff we have our baby powder our corn starch our two mixing our measuring and it's going to help us with that and then you're also going to need a container to put it in. I found this really cool container at Target for a dollar on clearance. It's made for like horseradish, but I thought it was really cool because then you can leave a brush in there. So you're going to get a container that you're going to mix in. Obviously open it up. Have the cat hand you the one she needs. We're going to be getting our teaspoon of baby powder. Now obviously if you want to make double this mixture, you double your ingredients. So I'm actually going to be making two batches of this. So we're gonna actually need two teaspoons and you will get baby powder everywhere, which is okay. So we're gonna call that one. And then since we're doubling our recipe, we're gonna do another one. And you can see that's actually not that much translucent powder, but it can end up, end up being a lot in the future. We would originally for one batch do a half tablespoon. But since we're doing two batches, we're going to be doing a whole tablespoon of that. And then just dump it in. And then, of course, we're gonna have our second cat help us. And then we're just gonna mix it. That's why I also suggest using Tupperware that you really don't care about because it will, you probably won't wanna use it for food again. We're just going to mix this. Another way you can mix it is have your cat assistant, of course, help you. I've got two beautiful cat assistants here. You can put the lid on it, make sure the lid is tight and closed, and you can give it a little bit of a shake. Now, obviously, the next step you wanna do is just to put it into your container. Now, loose powder-wise, that's actually a pretty good amount. That's probably about the same amount you get with the mineral veil, and for us, that cost us less than a dollar to make um even if you now obviously if you're gonna buy these things up front of course it's gonna cost you more than a dollar to buy everything but cornstarch is about two dollars baby powder is about two dollars and of course your tupperware for four of them was a dollar so under five dollars i was able to get all the supplies and i barely used any baby powder and i barely used any cornstarch so it does take less than a dollar and put it in your container and voila put your lid on there and you are done. Alrighty, so I have all of my face makeup done that I do before I powder, because I usually just do foundation, concealer, color correcting, and blush, and then I powder, and then I do my eyes, and then I spray. So, 
I've got my lovely cat assistant over here if I need them. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing half of our face with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, the legit one that you buy from Sephora. And then we're going to be doing the other half of our face with what we actually made, our little concoction here. And we're going to be comparing them side um, by side so we can kind of tell the differences. I do have my beauty blenders. I have two here so we can bake underneath the eyes so we can tell that difference as well. So we will be doing the Bare Minerals. And this is a brand new one just to let you guys know. So we're going to rip it open. And then of course the beauty blender is damp. So then we're going to be getting some powder and we're going to be baking under the eyes. Okay, so we have the bake started, and then of course I've got a big old fluffy brush here to powder the other, the rest of that side of the face, so. Alright, that side of the face of course is done other than letting the bake sit. Um, so then we're going to be doing the other side with our homemade little concoction, if I don't get it all over the floor. And then we're going to be waiting five minutes to let this set and then we can take off essentially the bake and we can compare them side by side. All right, so it's been a little longer than five minutes. Of course, something came up. So we are going to be dusting off the excess and then we're going to be comparing side by side for our DIY. So, all right. So we have dusted everything off. Um, as I can tell, I honestly in my opinion, can't tell a difference. The only thing that I can tell off the top of my head difference wise is the mineral, oh gosh, good thing I caught that, is the mineral veil is tinted and our DIY isn't. Now if you do want yours to be tinted, you can always take a tiny bit of like a loose foundation and kind of sprinkle it in there and mix it in to make it more tinted. But honestly, I can't tell a difference from side to side. I actually believe the um, our DIY does leave more of a matte finish and the mineral veil leaves more of a shimmer finish. I am not a huge shimmer finish person because I like mine to be matte, more realistic um, than most things. But yeah, so tell me down below if you can tell a difference and if you even forgot which side was which. But yeah, so that's all I have for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave those down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, join the Savings Army, never pay retail again. I love you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye!